Hello everyone. In last video, we learned about mocha hooks, how we can write efficient test keys in Cypress. So from this video onwards, I'm going to tell you all the Cypress uh, commands. We'll learn different Cypress commands and uh, we'll see uh, real-time execution also, how they work and what is the functionality of each command. So in today's video, uh, it's very important. Today, I'm going to tell you about the viewport sizing. So whenever you test any web application, you, you have to make sure the responsiveness, the web application is responsive enough to handle different screen size. So by screen size, I mean, let's say you're testing an e-commerce website. Uh, let's say, let's take the example of amazon.com. So the end user can be, can have different screen size. Maybe the end user can have iPhone or an Android device or an end user can also use it on iPad or a desktop, right? So we, we, as a tester, we have to make sure it actually caters to all the different screen size. And why we, we test it manually. So we test it manually on the browser, let's say on Chrome, we open it and we check the responsiveness. So why can't we test it? You know, why can't we automate it? So in Cypress, you don't have to worry about it. So there's a command cy.viewport using which you can test different width and height. You can test different uh, dimensions and you can also test different orientation. Let's say if you want to test it, if, if, if you know your user can, you know, test on landscape mode. So you can test that also using Cypress. So I will tell you, first of all, I'll tell you how we can test it manually. So this is amazon.com. And if, if I want to test it manually, the responsiveness of a page, what we do, First of all, uh, we do right click and then we click on inspect. So I have opened this one on Chrome. So on inspect, if you click, you can see this bottom, you can see this panel will be opened, right? So this is what we call as Chrome Dev Tools. So this is, if you see over here, this is a, uh, this is a toggle device. If you hover of it, you can see this is toggle device toolbar. That means if you change it, you can see different dimensions. So for iPad Air, if you want to test it, I will just move it to my right screen. So it's clearly visible. Yeah. So if I want, if you want to test an iPad Air, you can change from here also different devices, whatever is available. If you want to change, uh, you can see over here also the width and the height over here based on the device, whatever you selected. So Google Chrome already have predefined uh, responsive devices where you can change it and you can select it. But this is all manual work. But uh, when you're automating the functional test case, the API test case, why can't you automate this also? So we, we automate scenarios in order to avoid repetitive tasks so that we can focus on other important things. We can, if this, if this is a repetitive task which you perform in every, uh, in every sprint or every build, so you can easily automate that as part of a regression test suite. So to handle this case, uh, we will use cy.viewport. So let's go back to our ID and we will create a new test case. So I'll create a new file inside end to end. You can pass any name. So I will pass viewport test.cy.js inside which I will write my test case. So describe is basically the suite name. You can pass any name as per your choice and uh, I'm passing some meaningful name over here. Inside that you will write your it block. So it block is basically where you define your test case and write all the commands and actions. So it, you can write the test case name. So I will write viewport test, but in your project, so as per your test case, you can write different, different names. So if you want to pass test in different dimensions, maybe you can pass over here also dimension iPhone or dimension, uh, whatever dimension you want to pass, right? So like I mentioned, we use cy.viewport to test the dimensions in uh, Cypress. So to simulate the different viewport, inside that we pass the parameter for width and height. So width is basically, let's say I want to test for maybe 990 and for height 760, right? So if you have some width and height, you can pass inside the viewport command and then you can access your web application using cy.visit. So I'll be opening 
I'm taking the example of uh, Amazon.com, which is the e-commerce website. So in e-commerce website, because uh, it, it's better to understand uh, with the example, with a live example. So I'm taking example of Amazon.com. Fine. So it's pretty simple. It's just two liner code using cy.viewport. You can check, you can submit a different viewports in Cypress and you can test for different, different dimension. Fine. So now go to terminal and open the test runner. So in order to open test runner, we use npx Cypress open. Now select end to end testing and then select the browser. You can select the test file from here. And now you can see on the page, the viewport is changed. So on the top right corner, if you see over here, you can see my arrow. So this is 990 into 760, which is the viewport which I passed in my test case. So by default, if you do not pass the viewport, Cypress takes the viewport as 1000 into 660. But if you want to change the viewport, you can change it using this command cy.viewport. So what I'll do, I will, uh, I'll show you the default behavior as well. Let me just go back to my test case. I will comment it so that I can show you the default one. So let me rerun the test case. I will close that and open it again. So select your test case. Now you should see in the viewport section. So you see 1000 into 660. So that is the default dimensions which are provided by Cypress. Fine. So these are the different uh, different dimensions which we can pass in terms of uh, width or height. But in Cypress, if we see, there are some preset also defined. By preset, I mean, I'll take you to the official website of Cypress. So I'll explain you. So preset dimension means we know we can pass width and height, but they have given some preset like the name of the devices which you can simulate and you just have to pass the name of the preset. So this is a preset. You don't have to pass the width and height, but it is only applicable for these presets. Let's say you want to test some other, so it won't be applicable, it will throw an error. So let's say I want to test an iPhone 3. So in order to test an iPhone 3, I can either pass width and height or I can pass iPhone 3 directly in my viewport, in the cy.viewport as a parameter. Let me show you a demo and uh, it will be clear that way. So what I'll do, I'll create a different test case over here. Fine, I'll, I'll just copy this one because we will be opening amazon.com but for different, different viewports. Fine, this was my preset. So inside that preset, inside cy.viewport, just pass it like this. The name should be, make sure the name should be correct. Otherwise, Cypress will throw an error. It will say the preset is not defined. Pass a defined preset. That means Cypress has a some set of preset which are already there. So we need to pass the same name. Fine. Now let us rerun our test case and see if it is working fine for iPhone 3 or not. Fine. So I'll select the test case and we'll see. Now we have two test cases. So first one is uh, 919 to 760. Second one we can see over here. It is saying iPhone 3. And on the right side, we can see the dimension, which is 320 into 480. Fine. So this is my Amazon.com. This is how your page load, uh, page will load for this dimension. So 320 into 480 is basically, if we go over here, we can see the width and height is 320 into 480. So you can pass either width or height also, or you can pass the preset. Fine. There's one more thing which we can do using cy.viewport, which is changing the orientation. So by orientation, I mean, by default, it runs your test case in the portrait mode. But if you want to change it to landscape, if you want to test how will your application will look in the landscape mode, will it work fine? Will it, will it, you know, the cater to the screen size or will it break? You can test that case as well. So we will test that case. I will copy this test case again. So now we have three different combinations. I will add over here TC3. So it's clearly visible like this is my test case one, test case two, and this is test case three, fine. So apart from iPhone three, what I can do, I will pass over here landscape. So if I want to pass it, pass a different orientation, so I want to test for landscape mode also, but along with the iPhone 3. So for iPhone 3, if I want to see, make sure the user can access uh, in the landscape mode. So 
we can check that as well let me rerun the test case and i'll show you so you will see the difference now so for the portrait mode it's slightly the screen size we will see how it changes so second test case just got loaded and the third case you see the width is slightly increased over here fine so this is my the width got slightly increased and uh, this is for iphone device if you want to test because when you change the orientation the width and height also changes in that but again it depends on the screen size the height may not be bigger than 320 so that is how you can check different orientation or different scenarios in in this fine so this is uh, for different test cases let's say you want to test all the cases for single you you want to test for single dimension only in that case what we can do we in order to avoid writing cy dot viewport for every test case we can also pass the different dimensions in inside the describe as a parameter so inside this you can pass let me go to the next block so yeah so inside this you can pass viewport height so viewport width so if i want to test it for let's say 890 and i want to test for viewport viewport height as 750 760 okay so like this it will be applicable for all the test cases we are defining a single viewport width and height and it will be applicable for all my test case so i will just comment this one fine i'll, I'll comment all the cy dot viewport so we can see for all the test cases the viewport uh, width and height should be 819 to 760 so let me go back to my cypress test runner and i will rerun my test case and we'll show you so over here now we should be able to see this is 890 into 760 and the viewport size remains same for all my test cases so this is how you define it for a test weight level fine so we saw different cases we we saw how we can run it for individual test cases and then we saw if we want to handle it at the suite level but what if you have a different uh, you have a different test suite and for all test suites you just want to test it for single viewport and height i mean globally so for now we just have two classes two files but if there are multiple tests over here and i don't want to write this code in every test so you can again you know avoid this by defining it in the cypress.config.js so this is the configuration file where you write all the configuration uh, configurations over here so if you want to change anything at the global level just write the configuration inside the cypress.config.js so guys this is after cypress 10 version so before cypress 10 version it was cypress.json but now after uh, cypress uh, version 10 so it is migrated and the name is changed to cypress.config.js fine so over here we just need to pass viewport height so viewport height if i want to pass 760 and viewport width let's say if i want to pass 535 so it will be applied globally for all my test cases over here inside end to end right so i will just comment this one i'll remove this one and now we will see if it is all my test cases are having this viewport height and width fine so i'll go back and rerun the test case so let me yeah let me close it and rerun it so now if i rerun it i should be able to see the same viewport width and height so you see over here it is 535 into 760 so that's really uh, amazing guys because when we work in a project when we work uh, when we create a framework so we use such kind of concepts we don't write we avoid writing in every test case if it is not required if it is required for all the test case we try to define it in a globe at a global level so that we don't need to repeat the same code but if it is required only for a single test case then yes of course you can go inside the test case and define it at the suite level or the in the it block but uh, for global for uh, in order to change it globally just write in cypress.config.js and change it globally so yeah these are the different combinations and you can test for there are a lot of other combination as well so if you want to test for ipad or if you want to test for macbook pro you can test that as well so let me show you two different 
combinations one for ipad mini and one for macbook also fine so i will write tc4 and tc5 i'll show you the preset first of all and then i'll run it for you so let me take back to you the to the main cypress uh, page i will copy from here the preset so i want to show show you for ipad mini so let me copy ipad mini so i'll copy the preset name so let me change it over here and the next preset i will change it for macbook pro so macbook 16 so i will test it for macbook 16 as well so these are the different combinations which we are checking so we saw for iphone we are checking for ipad mini and we are checking for macbook pro let me do one thing let me test one case for android as well so we know uh, we are checking for different combination for android for iphone for uh, macbook pro so let me copy here the preset for android so i'll copy samsung s10 right so let me copy here the samsung s10 and we will run it so let me rerun the test case i'll go back there and i'll rerun it and now we'll see if it works for ipad mini and for the android device right so my fourth test case is basically for this is this is for the ipad mini so you see this is how amazon will look in ipad screen orientation screen size and for dimension android dimension this is how it looks fine so again you can play with different viewports you can change the dimensions you can change the orientation you can also pass the different presets which are already defined in cypress you can pass different combinations and you can test multiple cases right i'll show you one more negative case so like i was telling you if we do not pass any preset uh, which is you know which is not there so i if i if i'm passing maybe s s3 right and s3 is not defined in the preset list of cypress so let me show you the preset uh, defined preset and if it is not there it will throw me an error so we see we already have two presets defined which is samsung note 9 and samsung s10 but if i pass over here samsung s3 so in this case cypress will throw an error and it will tell you select from the predefined presets so let me show you so this is my last test case so for tc6 it should fail and we'll see you can keep checking this right section as well so see how it changes for my test case tc5 yeah so you see my test case got failed and it's throwing an error like could not find a preset for samsung s3 available presets are like this but if you want to pass different width and height which is not there in the table that can be handled in cypress right so if you want to pass any presets any width which is not here that that will be handled uh, directly in the cypress you will not get an error for that so guys yeah this is uh, how we test different screen size and different orientation in cypress this is i would suggest you should test it along with the functional test cases because we we don't know what devices your uh, end user will be using your application on so you should make sure your web application actually caters to the different screen size so in that way you will be confident like your end user who is using your web application is actually satisfied with your web application so it should not break with different screen size right that is a bad user experience so as a tester we need to make sure the screen size the orientation as well along with the functionality so again it is if it is a repetitive task if you are checking this in every uh, regression so you can automate this case in cypress and it's just a single command which you have to use which is cy.viewport and you can test multiple combinations you can check with your team with your uh, pm or in your team like what are the combinations which you need to test and you can test for all the combination right so i hope you find the video useful and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel i'll be coming up with more cypress videos in the upcoming days i'll be telling you all the different commands which are there and how it is useful and how it can be used in the framework design